understanding lexical scope in JavaScript. I've been asked several times to explain what are closures, but before that you need to understand what is a lexical scope in JavaScript. So consider that you have this variable on the global scope called SN, and we are going to mark this global scope because this is on top. Now let's suppose if we had a console log with some message that says username is username, and here we are using the username variable. If we also identify that this is a global scope and run this, you will see that we get this message global username is SN. So we are able to access this username variable on the global scope. And that is because both of these are defined and used in the global scope. Now let's talk about a function. So let's create a function called call me. And we are going to put a console log inside here and try to use the same variable that is outside of this function's scope because the function's scope is this and we are going to mark this as well. So if I put this log here using the username variable as you can see here and mark this as the scope of the function which is being called here and then we call the function in global scope just like this then you'll see what happens. If I hit play, you can see that here we are having this calling SN as well because it's using the variable here. So the lexical scope basically means that any inner function can have access to its outer scope's variables. That's what it means. Now let's create a variable but within this function scope. So we are going to call this user ID and let's say it says some ID. We're going to also log this user ID within this function just like this. So you can see we are saying calling username with user ID. And if I hit play, we should be able to see calling as and with ID some ID here. So it is accessing this variable here and that is because we are creating and accessing the variable within the same scope within the function scope but if i try to use the same user id variable outside of this function scope what would happen if i hit play here you can see that we'll get an error and that would say user id is not defined and that is because this variable is being accessed in an outer scope whereas the variable declared is in a function so this cannot be leaked out of this function to an outside scope and that is what's called lexical scoping in javascript so i hope you liked the video if you did press the thumbs up button and also follow me for the next video which is about closures